Good morning. Um, so today is a um, catch up on what I've been doing with Snippet Pixie um, and how far I've got with uh, packaging it as a flat pack ready for the elementary six app center. Um, and some of the trials and tribulations I've had. Um, and well, we'll get into that. Um, so the last time um, that I was, I did a video on this, um, I was having a problem with getting the shortcut overlay, um, the search and paste window to save and read its shortcut. Um, so it's a little shortcut that you hit, um, usually control uh, back tick to get your little list of uh, shortcuts up and uh, available when you can search and then just hit yep go paste that into the app um, uh, and the problem is that um, I couldn't I just couldn't find it kept coming up saying that um, the schema the like setting schema that you need to be able to modify to say hey I've got this new shortcut um, in the flat pack it just basically would not let me read it um, so um I contacted Cassidy and David um people uh well versed in these kind of things um from the elementary project um and they basically confirmed that that is what flatpak does it um it, it does not allow you it's sandboxing your app um, and so it's just not going to allow you to read and write system settings effectively um, so that's a bit bit of a problem because um, you really want your app to be able to say um, to manage his own hotkeys um, so when I was ch ch chatting with them, I had a little bit of brainwave um, and I did a little ex experiment. Um, I'll see if I can reproduce that just now. Uh, it might not work in this VM. It's not as beefy as it has been. Um, I'll just get this up and running. So let's... Um, yeah if i right so this is um just a terminal window um, on my first workspace my my epiphany as such was that flat pack uh you can get an obs flat pack that's the um whatever called this is basically what I'm recording this session with. Um, so, flat pack. It's got to allow it. Oh, so, I'm getting ahead of myself. OBS uses hotkeys to switch scenes. Um, so here we have a blue scene, and then we have a red scene. Um, and I believe I have them set. This is very slow. Um, I have hockey set in here. I'll just double check to make sure. Hockeys. Running OBS in a VM is probably not a good idea. Okay. Um, Control Super 1 for the blue scene, Control Super 2 uh, for the red. Okay, so we're on blue scene at the moment. If I switch back to Alacrity, I'm just waiting for it to kind of recognize that I'm out. There we go. I'll click on it. Okay. So now I can, I've definitely got control here. If I do control super two while in alacrity, 
and then I switch back to that second workspace that's gone to the red. If I go back, oops, don't do that. Yeah. If I go back here, I'm just doing a quick test. So I did workspace one, workspace two, workspace one, workspace two. And that doesn't change. Go back to one. Control super one. Go back to workspace two. It's on blue. So there's definitely um, a way of getting hotkeys to work when you're in a different app on a kind of global scale because OBS can do it. So what I'm guessing is that if an app is running in the background, there's some way of doing it. Um, so maybe what I can do is get Snippet Pixie running in the background, which was a problem I was already having, um, and then find this way of monitoring shortcuts and then just store a local setting to say, this is the shortcut instead of using the global setting um, for the shortcut and running it there. Maybe, however, um, at first I had a little problem just getting Snippet Pixie to run in the background. Um, but if I do it all, I do grip. It is running in the background. I got that working. I'll show you how in a sec. Let's get that. Okay, so I had to do a little bit of um, chicory pokery. That's the technical term. Um, so. <laughs> The, that's not the bit of a want. Actually, that's a good point, actually. Just want to snap. There we go. So I've got a little boolean just like I do with flat pack. So flat pack, I have to do various bits and bobs. Um, so I, um, on the snap, I have to do um, a couple of different things because of settings as well. Um, but on the flat pack, I have to do the same. I have a boolean to say I'm running as flat pack. Um, and then because of that, when it comes up, um, I need to change um, the uh, string that I'm going to set. Is that in here? Which function is this? Yeah, update or to start. So I've got a little update or to start that runs um, uh, at least once when the app comes up. And it basically is going to create this little auto start file. Um, I have to basically among the command string um, that's going to be used um, to make sure it's a flat pack uh, runner. Um, and then I check to see whether I am running in a flat pack here. Um, and I grab that information from someone else who I noticed um, a little piece about how one of, they've got an app that they were getting ready for elementary six. Um, just find I've got, I should have that here. Yeah. Ugh. Is that not working? So Dark Bar by Blue Saber. Um, they have 
Um, I think they did it in, where did they do it? Probably in here. They had a little bit of code in here. Yeah. Um, so they checked to see whether they're sandboxed and then did various different things based on that. Um, and they also did the work that I needed to recognize. Um, of allowing to write to the auto start um, user setting folder. Um, that's an easy way of saying it, um, which I didn't have. So Snippy Pixie now does the check in. It now knows that it's in a flat pack, um, updates its search and paste command. Um, that's not in use yet. We'll come back to that in a second. Um, but at least I can now do something different because of that. Um, in that case, changing the exec string in the order start um, before it gets saved out over here. Um, and now with the permission set, I can do it. So that's great. So that's why you can see it's up and running and I have all to start working. Um, but I'm none the wiser as to how to do the hotkey thing. Um, I've searched and searched um, and I can't find a way of doing it. I don't know how OBS is doing it. Um, I'll have to dive into their code, I guess, to find out. But unfortunately, OBS is rather complicated. Um, and it's a QT app. Um, so it might be that it's using um, libraries and things that I have no access to because I'm using Vala um, and GTK and stuff like that. So I'm kind of stuck on that one at the moment. Um, I have all to start working. The app can run in the background, but at the moment I have no way of um, getting hotkeys working. Um, kinda, and we'll get to that now. So the next big thing, of course, is um, trying to monitor keystrokes, um, similar to hotkeys, different because I'm trying to actually um, take accessibility. Um, information from that. So let's see. Um, there's a bit. I almost got it working. Uh, actually, let me just see if I open up. When doing the flat pack stuff, um, I found out that I can ensure that I talk on the um, ATSPI um, dbus by giving myself permission to the org dot alley and that's a one one y um, accessibility um, dbus um, and it works kinda So let's see what can we show here. Um, I'll do so. I'll just do a quickie. I'm just going to kill off um, the running instance so that I can monitor a new one. So it should be up and running. Yep. I should be able to stop it and now it says not running so that's good um, so now here um, what I'll do is um, G messages debug 
equals all. That back. Um, and I'll just do a start. So this does the background start of Snippy Pixie as the demon, just like I would in the order start. Um, and I've got all the debug messages coming to the display as well. Um, so what you can see is it's up and running. Uh, we should probably be getting... Yeah, no, I think I turned off on this build. You can see it's allowing system dbus and session dbus. If I don't have system dbus, it just crashes out. So need that. Um, what have I got here? Yeah, that's all the usual stuff. So that's effectively a clean start. Nice little debug just showing that um, if I had the search and paste working, that's what would be running. Um, but if I now open up a um, app that I know is accessible, which happens to be Snippet PC, um, that's interesting, it's not doing what it was doing yesterday. Interesting, why is it not doing that? So, up until just now, I would happily get all these warnings about the D bus. But now I'm not getting that. Oh, <laughs> I know why. Right. I'm not, I'm not logging it. <laughs> okay. I'll just kill it off. Right. What I need to do is I need to log. Log. Ali. Bus. Run, log, do the thing. Okay. What you're going to see is it's filtered a bunch of stuff. Uh, if I run Stupid Pixie, is it going to do it? It's not doing it. Interesting. what that is. Okay, what I was expecting there was a whole bunch of um, stuff. I wonder if I've got an old build here. Let me just double check that. Do another build. Let's see what Something strange going on there. Right, I don't want to really be logging all that rubbish there. So let's do that. And then I'll tell you what I'll do. Start something else. So if I click into there, it doesn't do anything. 
come out and then it doesn't do anything. Open up Snippet Pixie. Still doesn't do anything. I'm lost. It's not doing what it was doing yesterday evening at about midnight. And this is the problem I've got. It just seems to be fragile trying to work with the flat pack permissions. One day it works and one day it doesn't. So I might be at a point where basically I just can't flat pack this because it's just not. It's not reliable enough at the moment. I can't find a way of doing <clears throat> the stuff that Snippy Pixie needs to do. Um, and One day it works, one day it doesn't. I can't, can't remember changing anything, that's the issue. I didn't change anything since last night. The other thing I can think of is maybe. So if I take out that system bus. So we definitely see a build. Yeah, so that's going to crash. Put it back in. And I don't know why I even need it. Session bus is all I really want. Definitely not running. Try again. Okay, so we're getting this shortcut stuff. Oh, I wonder if that was it. Getting what I expect. I have a feeling the one there might have been something I did actually. Hmm. Okay. It might be the exception coming from those settings that I want to change. Um that might be issue. So let's try this. If I don't set the shortcut on startup, I wonder if that will do what I expect. Okay. 
Here's something else. Try it. I'm explicitly saying that I want the accessibility bus to be available to this one. Still no ribbon in there. What if I run something else? Nope. What if I run that? And select Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Keep them. And we'll just do it. Selected application. On that. Yeah, so that's catching accessibility stuff. Window activate. But Snippet Pixie's not. Yeah, so it is definitely throwing them. It's doing the focus event, which is the one I want to catch. But I'm not getting... Oh, there we go. We sort of get it now. <laughs> okay, this is what I want. So, that's interesting. That is interesting because that meant I had to have basically exercise open for it to start triggering. Why? Anyway, this is the problem. Um, I am being denied access. Um, to various things, um, I can't get the um list of applications by looks of things at this point, which is weird because that was working before. Going away, not doing its thing. Ah, uh, very nice.
I clear that out, do it again. So 951, 52, 952. Hit that, hit that. Go off, come back. It's not triggering it at all. Not getting any of the stuff that I was getting yesterday evening. Same stuff, same build. So I'm a little bit lost, um, and this is this this is the problem. Um, so I'm not sure um, whether I'm going to be able to get very far with the flat pack. It just seems to have problems uh, with a ATSPI. Um, So I wonder if um let's just make sure it's gone there. What if um uninstall? Data. Yes. Yes. And then let's do a quick clean up. Make sure there's no auto start. Quickly check that. Yeah, it's doing all the right things there. What I'm thinking of doing is doing a, just a quick check to see whether whether the snap works on here. I've got like two minutes. <laughs> um, then I've got to stop. So let's see how quickly I can do this. Do, do, do. Okay, that's good. There's no data there from there. Okay. Uh, right. Let's clear that, get rid of that. What else have we got? Okay, we don't need that anymore. And in theory, there's no snippet pixie. Let's just double check. Yep, it's a gong. Make sure uh, if I go flat pack. List. It's all gone. Okay. Pseudo snap. Let's just quickly list actually. Watch there. So it's definitely up and running. Um, it's 
snippet p c classic I should trim that down. I think I can, you know. All right, that's installed. Uh, so there it is. First run is always a bit slow. Let's add a snip. So let's do SP that. And we'll do snippet pixie. And then we'll add another one. Let's do SP so we've got something different. Okay. Do we have a shortcut? We do. Okay, so uh, if I open up writer, is it going to work? Let's see. Nope. I wonder though. Nope. Okay. But that does. <laughs> Do that's good, but that's not going to work. Okay, under elementary six it does under um, elementary five and various other places, which is good. Let's try tasks. Does it do anything here? So if I do SP, yep, it works in there because I know that's accessible. Um, SPU, yeah, that expands there. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not doing flat pack for the moment. What I might need to do is just double down on SMAP. And... Uh, see if there's anything I can do to convince anyone at Flatpak to improve or allow the stuff that I need, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's they want it to be very sandboxed, and that's the problem. With Snap, I have the get out that I can use uh, classic confinement. So, okay, on that bombshell, I think um, it's time to go. <laughs> uh, so until next time, uh, you take care.